Every so often, there's a moment that people come back to. Sate is in the open, taking the L. Over and over and over again. Pop a bandage! Pop a bandage! Zextra, pop a bandage! Son, please! Oh. Oh. Wait, don't forget, oh. he has the double eliminations for the side, but it's gonna come through a wagon. He the Oh, if he goes down, run it! The key. Oh, no. It defines a point in time. Your world champion! signifies a player's greatness. To the side, he oh. finds two, that's one, oh and that's the second. And at the FNCS Solo All-Stars, we had one of the best. If he gets three, that could be it. He's moving forward, forcing the placement, Taysen on all walls, but he oh sees everything goodness. through, finds it, a big match from oh. Taysen, takes oh them all. So how did this moment come about? And with hindsight, is it even better than we remember? Here's the story of the FNCS Solo All-Stars on EU. Coming off of Season 6 FNCS, Taysen was on a cold streak. What? We should mention this was only by his standards. Okay. He had one solo FNCS in Chapter 2 Season 3, and then he exploded in notoriety winning trios with Mongrel and Mitro the next season. But he had not won FNCS in two seasons. Eighth in season five, third in season six. We know, crazy. So he came into All Stars looking to reassert his dominance. But this was a stacked tournament that would start to signal the future of the region on EU. And one player in particular would use this as a launching pad Vino. He emerged onto the scene in Chapter 2, Season 5 Grand Finals. Revive? He's going for the rest. I mean, it's only, it's it's still a lot of zone left because so many people went down early. Knifer and Patty still have this opportunity. <laughs> but time he has to buy. And Knifer has two floppers. The fish man on top of the mountain with the big shots. Even winning a game. And in Season 6, he looked to take the leap, teaming up with CRR and Aqua. But it was not meant to be. He was banned for account sharing mid FNCS, which disqualified him and his trio. CRR, Aqua, and Vino are not going to be able to play in FNCS semifinals because Vino's account has been banned because he, it was found that he bought the account. He had purchased an account the year before and never expected he would become significant enough for it to matter. As a result of this, he would not be invited to play in All Stars, which made things hard for him because 90 out of 100 of the spots in the tournament would be invite only, and only 10 spots would be available through play in open rounds. So getting one of those spots would be Vino's only chance. Kicking off with EU, our top 10 was the Legend 27, which is High Chris, Solo Vino. But he took advantage of this opportunity, placing second and qualifying. It's worth noting a lot of players who would come to be important on the region made their name through these qualifiers. So who were he and Taysen competing against? If the name All-Star did not give it away, then we gotta say it. This tournament was stacked. The region's best players showed up for their chance to win. In addition to Vino, another rising star would play, Malabuka. World Cup qualifiers who were still at the top of their games like Nate, Stompy, Teak, Thomas HD, Mr. Savage, Chapix, and Benji Fishy all played. The region's recent stars, Reason, Trippern, No Riley, Vadil, Kami, Seti, Hen, Andalex, Anas, Nebs, and Kinzel, and Giannis, who had won the last solo invitational in season two and won season five trio FNCS. In addition to a banging solo tournament, there's also a day of skill competitions. An edit race where Noah Riley beat Benji Fishy in the finals. They both hit the ground at the same time and they have to fall fast. Benji touched the first ball, edit quickly now, but now look at Noah Riley! Oh my goodness! What? what a fall down to all the way to the ground! And if you blinked, you just miss a mechanical dominance at the descent of the two towers and your champion, Noah Riley. And an aim contest that came down to Mongrel versus Mitro with Mitro winning. Catching up though, Mongrel on his last nine, it looks like Mitro is all the way in a very similar position. Oh! Four, three, two, oh! Mitro! Oh, got Mitro! it! Mitro! One, I think, yes! What? It's done! Wow! What? Four seconds of a finish, not even a photograph, a frame of an instance, and it's Mitro! A really cool weekend that we want to see repeated. But this skills challenge had nothing on the tournament that EU was about to provide. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Predictions were a bit all over the place, given it had been almost a year since the last solo FNCS. 
Taysen gets rocked in early game. This is a fight you might not want to take, my friend, but he's looking good with it on the aggression. Vortex is not afraid to fight, and 108, and he takes out Taysen. Mr. Savage gets headshot sniped. Right now, Mr. Savage following some of his eye resume. Oh, oh my, no! Giannis takes out Nebs. Who's been working very steadily, picking up Nebs there. Andalex gets two quick eliminations before going down. Andalex sneaking in, almost has the shot, but the wall blocks him. Going right in, diving, no nice. cause for respect. This man doesn't care. Andalex gets a huge upgrade. Oh, Another no. invasion from a different nation. He just turns on that man, and oh my god, a second one that just defuse right there. Andalex gets to survive, ah. but that is taken out. And Thomas HD is cooking. Five different players, if you trip up for even a second, you're gonna be taken out. Thomas HC looking to, for those trip bugs. Does he pick up high Chris? I believe that was Toos that was able to close that out. You know, he did pick up high Chris there. He was able to take that away and he picks up swag as well. Some nice illuminations from Thomas HD. Now he's just going to need some mats here because he's only down to 15 metal. He has mats on the other side of the wall. He has attack and the attack is real. As Vino has height and takes out Malabuka. What he can do as he walks in, the server now thinning out. Vino getting another Malabuka. Shizo pulls out five Elim game one win. It's 1v1, and Fasoki has nothing in the build department to defend himself. Chizo has a few more, goes for the shot, misses it, but the AR is there. Straight to game two. Off spawn, no rally manages to take out 4ZR. Now we may have a repeat battle between 4ZR and no Riley, but now 4ZR is in a big world of hurt here. Took some big beams, and it gets oh. eliminated quickly. Vadil gets an elimination. And it ruins Clement's chances at control. And having a base, I'm expecting a big pump shot here from Vadil. He hits it once. Can he get it twice to round out and finish this fight? Wow. There it is. In endgame, Benji Fishy, who had a poor first game, is looking to surge up the leaderboard. He has every single angle possible right now from top down. Then at least 100,000 damage from up here, but no, he gets taken out. He was shot on the blue back door to keep it all the way in. Taysen takes height as Vino tries to hang on. It's Taysen who steals his position. And Taysen fries from height. We run into a river, but this is no picnic. Stormy right, all the way down below is about to get shot out. Taysen is looking at such a strong position. Then 1v1's Teak to win. From above, this rain hurts hard, and there's no umbrella to save you now, my friend. You're running out of materials. You're going to be on your walls and your floors, ending it out towards the storm. Chug Cannon, the advantage is even. And now Taysen from the top side, he's looking for the final shot. A tree in the way, but there's going to be no growth for Teak here. Low on HP, low on shields. Taysen's here to wrap it out, going back in the storm. It's a desperate solution. Taysen fails the block, but lands the shot. That's what I'm talking about for game two. And after a consistent two games, Vino is in first with Taysen jumping to third. Benji Fishy is being contested by Pink, who may have been trolling a bit too. But now, Pink out of builds, but still has a lot of environment to kind of pick on. And Benji now, and that's Chapix out of nowhere. Where did Chapix come from? I but Chapix comes in to clean up the fight. At Sweaty Sands, No Riley dominates Nate. I mean, these guys are essentially, you know, it's, it's four people trying to share a one bed hotel room. It just doesn't work. Nope. Someone's gonna end up on the couch or on the floor. It's never No Riley, though, for some reason. This man is just clapping over and over again. And the replay shows one thing. Prime Noah. Let's take a look at the replay there as he's catching Nate on the disengage. Oh my god. CR and oh. <laughs> In endgame, Vino goes down. Safit picking up Blackie. Wakey taking out Vino. Our first place is gone. As Thomas struggles to hang on. But he has to go down into the depths of the low ground where we all know there's so many other people desperate and that desperation comes through getting taken out. Andalex holds height as Taysen stacks points. Height has been the thing that's been winning these solo games towards the very end. We're now going towards the eighth zone. Deceptos, Grey Angel, Light all the way down below. Taysen's still alive as well on the same layer as Vadil, but it's Andalex who gets to play this 90 degree angle and four different shotguns get shot in front of you. He's looking to see what he can do next. So much loot down there. So many mats. He's painting it in. Boom! Kinzo. He takes a huge shot, but none of these bulls are his own. Seven mats now for Taysen as he's looking to survive. Light. He gets shut out, and now with six people left, this is where that real big placement comes in. Andalex takes out Cammy. Situation, game three of the All-Star Showdown solos, and Cammy, Andalex finally picks up an elimination. Taysen stays alive. 
the game comes down to a 1v1. Kinzel, he's on the sidelines. 6 HP, blocked off in the zone. Huge from Taysen. Can he get two in a row here? It'll be against okay, all odds right now as Andalux has the world and more on high ground. The pressure's there too. This will have to be the retake of the century. Chuck Splash Cannon in the storm. Dips back in, but no, Andalux puts a cap on it. And Taysen takes first. Vino gets a headshot snipe as he fights to regain first place. Vino 2 is looking to just stay up top and let's see exactly where he just came from. I see the sniper in hand. Okay. Thomas HD gets a nice Elim. Now he's sitting above the chaos that's down below as Thomas AC is causing that chaos. Taysen keeps rolling and Vino takes height from Queezy. About to get closer to the top 10. If Taysen gets to the top 10, now Vino is going up for height. Queezy's on the green. He's in trouble now. And Vino's sitting pretty at height here. As Vino and Taysen are both looking for an edge, Vino takes out Thomas HD for his fifth elimination. We are looking at first and second. Once again, Taysen only down to three build at Thomas HD. And my goodness, you're performing out of your mind right now and Taysen gets picked up by Hen. Taysen goes down to Hen who has nine eliminations so Vino can take back first but gets taken out by Neps. Single digits now in the double digits with nine elims and the English Lord is no! going up and he takes out Neps takes him out. Who wins the game and after four Taysen and Vino are tied. Benji employs an interesting strategy off spawn that is so close to working. Before endgame, Taysen goes down off the broadcast. Taysen might be down now. But Giannis takes out Vino, meaning he can't pad his lead. Milking this position as fast as possible. Why? The spicy fish Sacho. He's ready to keep going. He's still pushing on and he takes out Vino. Kinzel is playing aggressively. Just a brief moment was able to catch Vino. So our top one or two are out. That's going to open the door for Thomas HD and Kinzel. Not have enough of the damage to keep up at the same time. 70 players alive. Kinzel. Reason holds high ground. Reason holds the crown at the same time. It's taken him a little bit of time to get it fitted to his head. Finally, they're on height. And he he really needed that game. And Tripper takes out Giannis. There, two layers below. Tripper is looking for the big shot. It's sneaky. And it comes down to a 1v1. But as Reason, with five eliminations there, with only one build, looking down below, another Elim. Actually, Reason picks up Sapphic. So another Elim going over to Reason. Reason with the tags on Tripper. He's going to be able to close this out. And Reason wins. But Vino has a three point lead which is less than one elimination over Taysen, setting up one of Fortnite's greatest showdowns in the sixth and final game. Vino gets a supply drop early and has an amazing inventory. Vino, all eyes on this rising star, gets gifted a supply drop here. Let's see what he gets. Okay, gets a very valuable launch pad. We've seen him recycle so many launch pads. Taysen narrowly avoids a sniper shot. He's working his way through. A oh, sniper shot just misses him and hits the brick here. As both players rotate well into end zone, and Taysen picks up an elimination. Can he survive this glide? He sees a lot of names underneath him. He has height and a moment to breathe as Taysen picks up an elimination on the bottom right of your screen. And another taking out Toos. This is looking good overall as well, Cammy. Mosh going down, but Taysen oh, no. save up someone else. Oh, and the, no. feed, the beam is oh, there, Toos. Vino runs out of materials. All the way up in the land of clouds, editing all the way down below. He's getting closer and closer to Vino. Vino's classic 90 degree spray. It's not enough to actually confirm any eliminations. He just does a little bit of damage. Top 11, but he finds one. But gets a timely elimination. So now, dear viewer, with both players basically even, sit back and enjoy the moment. Final moments, five people left. Vino has height, Taysen all the way in the middle. Those are the two eyes, the two names you have to be focusing on right now. Taysen is literally in a world oh of hurt, but at the same time finds two. That two could piece. be the difference. It'll have to be Vino going for the win right now in order to catch up. He's going for Erkin as well. If he gets three, that could be it. He's moving forward, forcing the placement. Taysen on all walls, but he oh sees everything goodness. through. Finds it. A big match from oh Taysen takes my. them all. The undisputed best solo player possibly in the entire world. Guild Taysen takes out everyone, literally everyone in this competition and is your all-star champion. What a dominating way to close it out. The golden boy of the EU region looking strong and mighty and got himself the FNCS All-Star Showdown Solo Championship. The reaction says it all. Vino summoned everything he had, played an amazing game, 
that in any tournament against any other player would result in a win. Taysen took the GOAT crown at $150,000, and the broadcast was left in awe. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm, in my eyes, I have to take the GOAT crown off of Aqua, and I'm putting the GOAT crown on top of Taysen's head. That was like the first time I think we've ever seen first place eliminate second place, like in that final moment. Nebs, Kinzel, Tripper, Festroki, Thomas HD, and Reason would all place in the top 10. Mr. Savage would play 65th, and Benchy Fishy would be 70th. Mark Twain said, History does not repeat itself, but it does rhyme, and we hope we can have many more moments rhyme like this. Like, sub, and check out our other videos.